Hi, Colin Kinnett here with Woodwork Web. Back with more on picture framing. One of the problems with picture frames is getting the frame material. Now, you can cut this yourself or you can purchase, for a very reasonable price, framing material from your local hardware store or from your local supplier of frames. They'll often sell you pieces of wood that you need. Today, I'm going to show you a simple way of cutting a very nice frame material that you can do in your own shop. So stick around and see how we go about doing that. One of my favorite frame materials is simply to end up with a frame that's like an L-shaped piece of material. And that's pretty simple to cut that. And not only is it simple to cut, it looks good once you get your picture frame. And it gives you lots of room to move around when you're mounting picture frames. Now, there's one thing that you should know about picture frames. If you're going to be mounting or if you're going to be having somebody mounting your picture on a mat inside the picture frame, you really need to make sure of your mat sizes because some of the very large mat sizes can be very expensive and in many cases you can actually move to a little bit smaller mat size by moving to just a little bit smaller frame and you can actually save yourself hundreds of dollars because the large mat sizes can get very expensive. What I like to do is to simply use a large piece of, of timber, and that's what this is, is a, a larger piece, and it's almost an inch and an eighth thick. I've actually planed it to that thickness, and I'm now going to cut basically square strips from this so that I end up with a square piece of framing material that will actually go together to make the frame. So let's go to the next step. Okay, as I already mentioned, I've already planed this board on both sides that it's smooth, and I'm going to cut it to length. But before I do that, I want to talk a little bit about the table saw. When you're cutting anything on your table saw, your blade of your table saw should only be a quarter to a half a tooth above the top of your material. And there's two reasons for that. The first reason is that you get a better cut. It makes the blade cut your wood better. The second reason is a safety issue. And you can see that I've removed the guides here so that you can see what's going on. You really should leave the guides on your saw for two reasons, safety, and the second reason is most safety guides also have a splitter, and a splitter on a table saw, particularly when you're ripping wood, is very important. So let's go ahead now and you'll be able to see how this material is ripped. Okay, we've just made this material absolutely square now, and the next thing we're going to do in order to make it concave like this is we're going to be cutting the inside. But this is for demonstration, and when what I found is if you're making picture frames, it's best to actually cut the 45 degree angles before you start trimming the material. But because we're just making the material today, we're not going to trim the edges. We're just going to make the material so you can see what it's like to make that material. Now, the next thing that's going to you're going to need to do is to set your fence and your table blade height for the correct width. To make these picture frames, I like to leave about a quarter of an inch on each of the frame sides. So each of these is about a quarter of an inch. And to do that, because this table saw has a wide gap in here, I'm going to be installing what they call a zero clearance insert. And that's so that the material will stay tighter and cleaner cuts. Okay, now you can see that I've installed the 
zero clearance insert. The next thing I'm going to do is to set up the width of the blade to the table. And I'm actually using a small guide block for doing that. Okay, I've set the table blade height and I've set the width of the fence and I'm going to run one cut through then I'm going to reverse that cut and you'll see how we end up with an L-shaped picture frame material. And that's it. That's how easy it is to make a picture frame material. You'll actually have some nice scrap left over. You can maybe even make another smaller picture frame with. But that's just how easy it is. So, make sure your wood is square. Make sure your setups are accurate. And you too can make picture frame material with your own table saw just that simply.